Japan, August 29, 2024. <laughs> Almost 4 million people in southern Japan have been urged to evacuate as Typhoon Shanshan made landfall Thursday, leaving thousands of residents without power and lashing Kyushu Island with hurricane force winds, torrential rain, and dangerous storm surges. The Japan Meteorological Agency issued a rare emergency warning for the slow-moving storm, saying it was expected to bring damaging flooding and landslides to most of Kyushu, the country's southernmost main island, with record rainfall expected. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled, bullet train services suspended and major companies like automaker Toyota and Nissan have closed factories. Japanese authorities on Thursday warned that a life-threatening situation was imminent for towns in Kyushu's Oida prefecture and urged 57,000 people to take life-saving actions as it issued its highest typhoon alert. A level 4 evacuation advisory, the second highest alert, is in place for all of Kyushu, affecting 3.7 million residents. At least three people have been killed after a typhoon hit southern Japan on Thursday morning, sparking fears of flooding, landslides and extensive damage to buildings. Another person is missing and more than a dozen are injured after Typhoon Shanshan hit the southern island of Kyushu and ripped through several regions including downtown Miyazaki City. Typhoon Shanshan has weakened as it slowly moves north through Kyushu as the equivalent of a Category 1 Atlantic hurricane, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, JTWC. The center of the storm is about 150 kilometers southeast of the city of Sasebo. After hitting the mainland with wind speeds of up to 185 kilometers per hour. Areas in Japan further away from the typhoon have also been affected by its bands of stationary heavy rains. In central Aichi Prefecture, a family of five were buried in a landslide when it destroyed their house late Tuesday, according to Gamagori City's Crisis Management Division. Three people, a couple in their 70s and a 30-year-old man, died in the incident. Two women in their 40s were pulled out of the debris and survived, one with severe injuries. Though Shanshan has weakened, it is moving slowly at 10 km per hour dumping huge amounts of rain onto the island. Slower storms can be more destructive, with strong gusts or rainstorms that pound the same areas for hours or days. Already, rainfall has reached over 0.5 meters in many areas and forecasters say totals could reach as high as 1 meter across some isolated and hilly regions. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshimasa Hayashi said in a news conference Thursday that record-breaking rainfall is expected and authorities are trying to assess the state of damage and implement emergency disaster response measures. The storm has forced more than 700 flights to be cancelled and dozens of sections of the major highways running through Kyushu have closed, Hayashi said. Services on the Kyushu Shinkansen and Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen bullet trains have also been suspended. There are fears that the effects of the typhoon may spread further in the future, Hayashi said. More than 255,150 households in Kyushu were without power Thursday morning, according to Kyushu Electric Power. Automakers Toyota, Honda, Mazda, and Nissan are among major firms that have suspended some operations at their factories in the path of the storm. An object blown by strong winds caused by Typhoon Shanshan is stranded on a power line in Miyazaki on August 29, 2024. 
Shan Shan is expected to turn to the east and move through Kyushu, weakening to a tropical storm by the end of Thursday. It will continue to move slowly over Japan southwest, before crossing into more central regions through the weekend and even into early next week as a much weaker storm. The main threat across the rest of Japan will continue to be widespread significant rainfall. With some areas in Shikoku and Honshu expected to see above 0.5 meters. The typhoon's impact is yet to be felt in the Tokyo region, where heavy rain is predicted for later in the week. Disaster Management Minister Yoshifumi Matsumura said the typhoon could cause unprecedented levels of violent winds, high waves, storm surges and heavy rain. On Wednesday, he urged people, especially older adults, not to hesitate and to take shelter. Typhoon Shanshan is the latest harsh weather system to hit Japan following Typhoon Ampel, which also led to blackouts and evacuations earlier this month. <laughs>